Morning, you lovely lot. Happy Monday, and welcome to Daisy. Last day. Last day. I think I'm in shelter. Oh, yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Last day, and we're walking down through the big Rubik's Cube to the Skyliner because Daisy and I are heading off to Epcot for one last morning of rinsing out the park. There was a bit of an issue with the light, uh, with the um, virtual queue with Guardians, so we've treated ourselves to a lightning lane for Guardians. So we're going to head over there for early morning, get on some rides. We've also got a late checkout on the room, <clears throat> uh, so we don't have to be out of the room till 12:30. So we're going to ride some rides, have some Starbucks, yeah. come back, pack, <laughs> and then. We're going shopping at Disney Springs. Right. And lunch. So sure. Excited. Lunch. Right, let's get to Epcot. Lovely morning. Nice weather. Looks like the sun's going to be out. We weren't actually sure what time the Skyliner would start running this morning. It's now coming up 4.20 to 8. Park opens at 8.30. There's a, there's a little line. Not massive. We'll get through probably get on in a couple of minutes. And refrain from smoking in the cabin. Thank you. But a susan. Right, lovely ride on the skyliner Dezo. So nice. What a lovely way to travel and a beautiful morning at Epcot. Coming up flower at the like Flower and Garden Festival is just amazing um, and we're right here kind of at the beginning of it so the flowers are sort of coming through I think when we came in May that time the flowers were like even more ramped up sorry I was I was saying now throughout all of that <laughs> you so now. I was saying when we came in May that time the flowers were even had come out even more yeah. but it is still so beautiful yeah. morning Mike good morning how are you fine thank you good Thank you. Thank you. Right, all through. Daisy just found out that my uh, when I go through the thing, it does something different. Well, I knew it did something different, but I want it. Yeah. I don't so, feel special. <laughs> because Tracy and I are linked to the uh, DVC account instead of like the normal bit, it goes pink. And Mickey says, "Welcome home." And I really like that. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Right, Ratatouille. It's so because we're on resort. First of all, you go through security, all fine. Then you go through um, like ticketing to make sure you've got a valid ticket, all good. And then there's like a final bit where they're checking your magic bands to make sure that you're staying on property um, because the early hours start at 8.30 and it's 20 past eight now. So what's, is, is it an extra half an hour? Uh, I think so. Uh, again, so not completely though. <laughs> So I think we get an extra half an hour before the um, like the general the general admission starts. So we're heading into Ratatouille. I love how splashy it is. It's like all coming over the side. Done. We were on and off by five to nine. That is right. I love that ride, but every time I ride it, I love it a little bit more. It's just so good. I think we really lucked out on our um, we really lucked out on our part. So we were on the first part of like they sent three out, we were on the first one in the front row. So we just got all the smells first, got all the water, it and the amazing. smell, so yeah. Good. Because you get a little bit splashed and they do pump smells in, especially like the cooking smells. It's amazing. And it was, you know, as Daisy said, I think we're on like one of the first ride vehicles out and the smell seems stronger. But yeah, that's, as I say, I love it. And now I love it a little bit more. Anyway, we are going to be heading over to Soaring next. I love this whole area where the ride is. Like it's just, yeah, it's just so lovely. I love it. 
There is something really, really lovely about walking through the parks when they're not like. So nice. <laughs> like, this is feel like I'm at home. <laughs> to be fair, like I know, like a lot of people say that the like pavilions aren't very accurate. This is kind of Salisbury accurate. <laughs> this is Salisbury <laughs> accurate. Yeah. This is like similar to our like hometown. Yeah. yeah. And I had a look in. We've. We've never actually been like properly into the pub, but I did stick my head through the window. Yeah, and it does look. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. And it it did look like a proper pub. Okay, Scotch egg. Yep, bangers and mash, fish and chips, shepherd's pie. There's a uh, impossible hot pot. See, stick, see, sticky toffee pudding isn't really. In, I'd think like a crumble. Oh, no, sticky toffee pudding would be my first thought. Yeah, but I'm not sure or if... trifle. Oh, don't you trifle with me. Trifle. Right, let's get soaring, come on. Ooh. That's lovely, Dezo. Shout out to Flower and Garden and all the gardeners here. These are looking amazing. We're just heading into the land. I was just saying to Daisy, for some reason, I think this is my favorite actual building on all Disney property. I don't know, yeah. I, I just think it's- It's very nostalgic. Yeah, I think there's lots of familiar smells, which for us, you know, we've been lucky enough to come to Disney a few times, especially when the kids were little. And you know, you attach memories to smells. So like the smell of the water on a water ride and you know, the smell, like even walking in now, like the smell of the cooking, it's all familiar. And there's something about this building that just, I don't know, it's like all senses come rushing back. Right, let's see how long Soarin' is. We were trying to call what the time would be. I was on 30, Daisy was on 35. No, I was on 30, you were on 30. All right. Actually. <laughs> Actually, and it's a 10. carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Yeah, really, really good. And there were quite a few people sort of to our right that had obviously never done it before. And that's like the best thing. Like, and with Disney in general, like watching people's reactions for the first time. And yeah, it was really cool. So just looking over the people that had done it and were like ooing and ahhing and jumping. And it's awesome. Right, our lightning lane for Guardians is in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna head over there. It is beautiful. Such a nice day. It's lovely, isn't it? It's kind of like this might be the nicest morning weather we've had. Yeah, and we've had, you know, other than a little bit of rain. We were so lucky with the rain. <laughs> every time it rained, we were eating in the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> we've been blessed. Amazing. There's Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. So cool. Oh, and Chip and Dale. Oh. And these are the purple martins, and these sort of funky little 
bird boxes. Why did I think they were actually going to be purple? Well, yeah, I would have kind of thought they would have been purple. But yeah, they. there is some information about them. But I remember watching the Tim Tracker yeah. vlog about these guys. But yeah, look at them. They are living their best lives. Heading on to Guardians for the final time this trip. Do you think the Lightning Lane will skip some of this? Yeah, no. I think it'll skip the main queuing part. Yeah. But I don't think it will skip like the reveal room and all of that. Cool. We're about to find out. So we've done the lightning lane, it has taken us a slightly different way. Yeah, with the lightning lane, it looks like you definitely skip some of the queuing up bit. So we pretty much skipped all of the queue bit. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Your world and ours were born of the same moment. One which you refer to as the Big Bang. was my favourite ride on it. We had Iran. I think that's my favourite song. Like, we've had September. I think September's the most fun. But I think Iran is the coolest. Yeah. And all, the, all throughout that ride, there are like big, really big screens. There's lots to watch. Um, there's a really good story that runs through the whole ride. Uh, it will, it is kind of, it, it doesn't take any prisoners if you suffer from dizziness or sort of nausea. The lady behind us, as she got off, she went and asked for someone who can have a quick sit down. Um, but I think, for me, I do suffer with motion sickness. If you focus on what's going on around you, don't close your eyes. So when the cinema screens are playing like the narrative and there's stuff on there, concentrate on that. Keep breathing, there's lots of cold air in there. And you might be all right. We got coffee on the firm. How's your coffee? Nailed it. Uh, right, it is coming up for quarter to 11. We smashed out three big rides. We had coffee, we've had a nice catch up. Skyline are back, pack some bags, head over to Disney Springs. How cool do these butterflies look? And it all smells so good. What's really nice about this time of day is all the food and uh, all the festival food booths are opening up. You can just smell different foods, like each bit that you go past. Dick, I will do whatever. Big shout out to Goofy for looking just magnificent. Love it. Love it. Thank you. This is it. Last Skyliner ride of this trip. such a nice way to get around. I love like you can see them off in the distance as well. Yeah, it's yeah. So cool. yeah, it's really really lovely. Super efficient and it's just Daisy said earlier that you could just get on this and have a ride around. Yeah, just sit on it and just knock it out. It's lovely. And there's Caribbean Beach down there. Looking lovely. So as we're walking back to the room, Daisy just said, how long ago does Cirque de, La uh, Cirque de Soleil feel? And it does feel like it was a long time ago, but this holiday has had a very different pace to what we normally do. Yeah, it's felt, it's felt weird, but like, I can't quite put my finger on it, if I'm being honest, I feel not good content. <laughs> but I feel like we've done so much and it's just been a very different pace for us and I've really liked it. Like normally, we get up early, go to the parks and it's always a bit of a rush getting out the door go to the parks for a bit and then we rush back to the pool have a bit of a swim and a splash and then off to Disney Springs but on this trip we've spent a lot more time like getting up slightly later and staying on the park for longer not going back in the afternoon and then going out for dinner and I've, I've really enjoyed it it feels like it feels like we've got a whole bunch of stuff done yeah, and I think great. yeah and the pace has just been it's been really good and I think, I feel really satisfied for like having a seven day trip. I don't feel like I've missed out on anything. And we've had like, yeah, it's just, it's been brilliant. It's been one of my favorite trips. Yeah, same. I love Pop Century. Yeah. I think I've got nothing bad to say about it. Like, I know a lot of people 
don't love how big the resort is and how far away everything can be but i think i must be one of the weird people that likes that i think I like, also because we're used to old key west yeah. which is bigger than this i like having the whole walk and soaking in vibes i like having to you know i like everything about it I like just love it it's yeah. so colorful brilliant it is a 10 out of 10. yeah what do you think of the room? I love this room. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's nice that we've got a late flight, so I don't really feel that sad, because I know we're going to Disney Springs. I know. This is really nice. It is really nice. And also, like, I think it's, <laughs> in some aspect, nice not staying on Old Key West, because we don't get all depressed about leaving. That is a bit it's of a wrench. Here, but I don't know what Old Key West does to us that makes us just so depressed when we go home. That's... I feel, I'm feeling... Mentally stable <laughs> at the moment. Because <laughs> it'll change. What do you think of the room? I think it's worked really well for us. Yeah, it's been great. Um, especially as we've had a busy holiday, so we haven't used the room in the way that we normally use the room when we're at Old Key West. So it's just been ideal. Yeah, it's been mega. Uh, yeah, the room has been fantastic. Like, if we were going to be super picky, a full length mirror maybe. A mirror in the main part of the room is the only thing I would change. Yeah. Okay, so it is 20 past 12. We're pretty much all, all ready to go. I've done a dud sweep. Everything seems to be packed up. So we will take the bags down to um, guest services, get them checked in, and then we will uh, head over to Disney Springs. Gonna miss that view. Leaving Pop Century, what do you think of the room? Oh, I like it a lot. I think it's really good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a great room. And the resort? Love the resort. Yeah. You know, sun's out, it's nice and colourful, it's cheap and cheerful. Yeah. You know, as Disney goes. I love it. Yeah, it's mega. Yeah. R.I.P. Forky. Oh, Spoony. I thought it was a little white lizard. <laughs> Spoon lizard. Luggage all dropped off. It's been a nice holiday. A really nice holiday. <laughs> it's been good, isn't it? Yeah, not long enough. <laughs> it never is, mate. No. What's your perfect length of holidays? Three. Like, serious answer only. The serious answer is three weeks. Three weeks? I like to be fully immersed in the bubble, because that way, I know for a fact that I won't... I can go at kind of like a steady pace and still finish the holiday going. I, uh, I've done everything I wanted to do. Yeah. You know? Because as much as it's been awesome, like, seven days, like, it's not a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. So we did a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, like, the last two days, I've just had big fat lions, because I'm like... First of all, I was like, I'm tired, and then the other part of my brain was like, we're getting back on the plane, and then we're going up to Croft this next <laughs> weekend. I need to rest. <laughs> so for those of you, of you that are new to the channel, Luke also races. So um, we literally land Tuesday morning. We also have a hotel. So we've got to go and sort some stuff out of the hotel, do a bit of work, pack up our van, and drag a race car up to Croft. Yeah, I was. I genuinely, like, when you woke me up this morning, like, prep cop, the only thing, I was like, I, I really want to go, and I was about to do it, and I was like, no, I, I, need to, I need to rest up. <laughs> I need to I have a sleep. Yeah. Right, we sent the girls off slightly earlier to go and get um, on the bus to Disney Springs, but it looks like they're just there. Oh, I absolutely love everything about this resort. It just, it's all the feels for me. And I know I've been boring on about this, if you are coming to Disney for the first time for a proper hectic park bashing time, I don't think you really need to look any further than Pop Century. No, I agree. Price point is mega. It's got everything you need. The pools are great. The rooms are great. Skyliner. Skyliner. Yep. And the buses. We've had a couple of misses on the buses back to Pop Century. But other than that, it's been mega. Nice moves. Um, I did say, uh, I think it might have been in yesterday's vlog that there you can only get the skyliner to hollywood studios in epcot however there are bus stops for them so you must be able to i think i might have been usually on here it says take skyliner oh let's have a look oh yes it does use skyliner use skyliner so yeah so if you didn't want to if you didn't want to uh if the skyliner wasn't your bag which i can understand it might not be then um i don't know get there you might have to get an Uber, which might add... Well, obviously it's going to add expense to your holiday. So, uh, yeah, bear that in mind. Right, back at Springs for the last time this trip. 
sun's out. Ladies, you both look beautiful. We are in the Polite Pig. I ordered the brisket. What did you go for? Got the old chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's a knife and fork job if ever I saw one. That is what a loser would say. <laughs> Tracy, your salad looks incredible. I know, it's the Cobb salad. And she did the, you can get extra stuff on it, like pork or chicken or salmon. And I decided not to, and I'm glad I decided not to because there's plenty that here. That is amazing. Daisy went for beans, watermelon salad, mac and cheese, waffle fries, and we ordered this about four minutes ago and it's all come out. It smells amazing. How good is that mac and cheese? All mac and cheese should be like that. That is really, really good. My brisket's great. I've got sweet potato tots, they're great. How's your salad? Days O. How would you rate your meal? I'd give that a four out of five. Nice. Tracy. I'm learning at some mold here. I'm going back to an out of 10 scale. I feel like it allows me to have more lenience. Um, yeah, okay. 7 out of 10. I'd go 7 out of 10 too. Nice and quick, pretty tasty. Yeah. The, the uh, brisket was dry, but it was still tasty. But yeah, I'll go 7 out of 10. Also, that meal came in at just over $100, about $103. And we get a DBC, DBC discount, so it came in at just over $90. The one thing that I did think was a bit weird, it, uh, they asked when you pay if you wanted to leave a tip. Yeah, but you've not had your service yet. You don't know if you're going to get your meal in like four minutes or 40 minutes. Yeah, I did leave a tip, but I did kind of feel like it was something that I should do because it, you order at the counter, so... She was Yeah, she was super nice, but... Yeah, that was a. I left the tip just because of karma. But yeah, I did kind of think it's like it's almost like getting a, leaving a tip at McDonald's. Kind of. Yeah, not, there's not a lot of service. Yeah, but she was she was lovely. We're in Basin, where everything smells nice. Can and I just get... do an impression of what you said? Got it. Right. You're in here and you're smelling stuff like a normal person. You pick it up. I'm a normal person. You're like, mm, that's nice. <laughs> it's not what you just do. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Why? How to sniff with Daisy. That's <laughs> smart. Yeah, it smells well, like coffee. It. It's coffee beans. Yeah. Oh, this smells nice. <laughs> How do I look, boy? Oh, hello. Heading into the days of Christmas, it's Christmas Day here every day. Look, there's anything to know about me. I love Christmas. You do love Christmas. <laughs> <gasps> Aircon. Oh. oh, and there's Christmas music as well. Woody Nutcrackers. Oh, hang on, this is a poor design. Let's try Sally. <laughs> that is tail as well. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. nice. Oh, that's a quality nutcracker. We're in Art of Disney and everything in here is awesome. Oh, I love these. Oh, they're so cute. Everything in here is lovely. Thank you. Yeah. I think that's pretty decent value. It's $160. I think it's pretty cool. I like that. 
Oh, I like the fact that the it's sort of yeah, three. It's out, yeah, it? that's really cool. Oh, that is two thousand eight hundred dollars though. Yeah. And I love that. That's fun. That is fun. How much? Is it? That's four thousand dollars. I'm in the wrong bit of the shop for me. Walking across the bridge. Everyone, all right? Yeah. Yeah. So You're not all right, are you? Oh, I'm a bit emotional today. It's hit. It's hit you. It's really hit me today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, we haven't got anything booked at the moment. Life's been challenging this year, so um, yeah, we just need to get a few things sorted out back in Blighty and get something booked. Here we go, last. Disney bus ride of the trip. Right, that was a bit hectic. I booked an Uber from the uh, from the hotel to the airport, and it was literally dropping off as we were booking it. So it said, "Like right, it's here now." So yes, we're at the airport. That cost about forty-five dollars. In an Uber, easy peasy, we ordered an Uber XL so we can get all the bags in. Nice ride? No. No? It wasn't big enough for the back. Wasn't it? It's a bit tight, so we squashed it. Oh, was it? It's only yeah. half an hour journey. Our backs were cramped up. So it wasn't like an XL? It was an L. It was an L. Right, let's go and get checked in. Excellent, excellent service. That's the best service we've ever had at a check in here. Yeah, it was really I think good. Yeah. Everyone was lovely. Every, mem every member of the team on the Virgin check in was brilliant. Yeah. Five star plus. Now, we're early. It's good to be early, isn't early. it? I think um, security is very busy, so they're only letting people through whose flights are in the next within the next two hours. Because it's already like a 15 minute wait, so kind of like, well, that's three hours, so we'll opt out of the queue for now. Explore this bit of the airport, which we don't normally do, and rejoin later. Go and have a mooch. So, this is some sort of art installation, but I don't want to get too close because it does look really real. That is, that's crazy. I don't like it. It's like a David Blaine thing. No. Yeah. Definitely. Have you seen him from the front? Don't want <laughs> Come and have a look. He is. <laughs> look. T tap on the glass. <laughs> there we go. It is very good. That is a little bit too real for my liking. Yeah. Well, I suppose this extra hour will give us a. We've never really looked around this part. No, we don't need to us to get, get through to the other side and just wait there to make sure we're ready for our flight. This is actually quite nice. It's giving us yeah. a reason to be here. Let's have a look. Right, so we've got SeaWorld shop. So if you. Hey, you know what this would be good for? Last minute presents. Like when you're in the Uber, like, oh, I, I, didn't, get, yeah. I didn't get a cuddly Elmo or a. Oh, a guy smiley. Nice. And there's also a magic of Disney store. So if you have forgotten something, you don't have to get them like an afterthought present from like like the duty free, oh here's a Toblerone. You can go, no I was actually in a park and I was being very thoughtful. So yeah, this is cool. Oh it's cool. You wanna, I think I wanna go see the SeaWorld stuff. Right, Disney, oh that's cool as well. Uh, Disney shop done, I think that's really good. Good offering yeah, in there. It's got a little smattering of most things that you might want to expect to find. Yeah. Your parts, your t -shirts, your All budgets. And there's a shop called Lids, which is like caps, baseball caps, and basketball shirts. It's very cool. Oi, oi. You got a shop called The Neighbourhood. Don't really know what sort of bits and more sort of gifty stuff. Electrical bits, so if you've forgotten your headphones or if you want to treat yourself and get some new headphones. This airport's really cool. You got an Oakley shop. This socks, sock shop. Yeah. 
some jewelry. We got Dunkin' Donuts. There's like a bar over there as well. So you got a Universal shop, so all your Harry Potter stuff. Jurassic Park stuff, bit of Simpsons, bits and pieces. It's good, isn't it? There's loads here. Yeah, really, really cool. Nice picture opportunity if you wanted to get your Harry Potter on. There's like a news agent's over there as well if you want a magazine or a book or some snacks. And they've also got a food court as well. I'm beginning to wish we didn't have such a big lunch. Yeah. Right, they've got a Panda Express, they've got a McDonald's, they've got a Moe's Southwest Grill. They've got Firehouse Subs, they've got a Cinnabon, they've got a Chick-fil-A. This is really cool. They've got a Ron John's here, sunglass shop. And I think that's about it, but way more than I was expecting. I was just saying, I think we've done it a bit of a disservice in the past by not actually spending any time, any time on this bit and just going straight through to the other side, which actually the other side's not got a lot. So no, this is way better. Yeah, you've got time to kill, stay this side. Come and have an early security. dinner. Don't, don't go through too early. All through security, Luke got, uh, has made a new friend. Yeah. Got a uh, fully frisked and... Got, got a cheeky rub down with the lads. <laughs> nice, how was it? It was really nice. It was nice Keep it put... cheesy, it's friendly please. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nice to finish, you know, a, a, a week-long holiday on a high. Nice! <laughs> Made a the last ride of the holiday. Right, we had a nice couple of hours in the airport. It's been nice, isn't it? Security. <laughs> yeah, security was a bit hectic. Uh, but once we got through, it's very, very calm actually through this side. So. Yeah, right, heading on. Full disclosure, it's, it's Saturday the 8th of July, so this is actually going up today. Happy Saturday, you lovely lot. Um, yeah, Tracy, the governor, basically said to me, did we, did we finish that vlog? And I'm just like, I think so. Anyway, how are we doing? Uh, that was one of my favorite trips ever. You know, it was just wonderful. I know I banged on in that vlog how lovely Pop Century is, but, if you are looking, especially, you know, a lot of you lovely lot might be going for the first time looking for tips and tricks and bits and pieces. Don't listen too much to us because we do wing it a little bit. Um, but if you are going and you're looking at all these other resorts, and especially if you've got younger children, and I say when I say younger children, not like Luke and Dezo, I mean like teens and down, Pop Century, you know, that should be a consideration. Everything about it is wonderful. I've got no, there's nothing that I didn't love about it. I love the feels, I love the accommodation, I love the quick serve, I love the shop, I love the Skyliner. It is just amazing. The pools are fantastic. We didn't get 
you know, too much for the time to have a splash about down there. And, and the way that you can just wander over into, um, into Art of Animation as well. What a place, you know, and what cracking value, you know, compared to like English money, that Travel Lodge up the road is charging more than a night at Pop Century at the moment. So yeah, cracking value. Um, bear in mind, if you, the Skyliner isn't for everybody, and I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can get to the park. So, you know, if you didn't fancy that, check into that. Don't take what I'm saying as gospel. But yes, it was an absolutely fantastic trip. And having um, Adam along with us was just glorious. And when we first, um, the option came up with that, Adam was gonna be out there at a similar time. We were having a chat and um, we both said, you know, how about if our trips collided and then we made an adjustment. So it was more, <laughs> it ended up being much more of a collision and just like, a wonderful family trip with one of our favorite people and it was just it was just so easy and um, we got to do so many cool things and yeah it was just it's so lovely to feel that Disney is getting back to normal and I think the one thing that really peed me off because I like to be spontaneous sometimes I didn't like the whole park reservation thing I don't like that you have to book that in advance and I just thought it was a bit of a a bit of a bum ache. So, um, turns out they've listened to me and, <laughs> and that's all changing there, putting it back to normal. I think it's in January. Anyway, we have been flat out. As I say, it's July. We've got lots of exciting stuff. Luke's Racing's very exciting. Daisy's had a promotion at work. Businesses here is bonkers. We got some really exciting stuff coming up. We still haven't filmed that Q&A <laughs> that you, you lovely lot sent your questions in. We're going to try and get that done in the next couple of weeks. Um, we are high season at uh, the guest house at the moment. So yeah, it is a bit bonkers. Um, and I'm also very mindful of the fact that we've got lots of new friends now watching and the comments and the... Uh, uh, voice crack, hold it together Kifo, and the love and all of the lovely things that you lot have, I wasn't expecting this, sent across, it's been awesome, you know there's lots of love out there and I'm probably a little bit tired and emotional but it is um, much appreciated. Oh, blimey. Anyway, before I lose it and they, they find me down in the cellar having a little emotional cry because of all the love that's out there, stay safe, be kind, and look after one another. Cheers, ears.